Hello there, um, this is my first video on teaching how to script in Crypto Excels. Um, this is version 1.10.6 um, and I've got this beautiful Vox model of a door um, that was made by Ben Nolan, the developer. Um, and I'm going to use that as an example on how to make a simple door. So first off, you should make sure you are using the um, HTML um, UI. So by changing the, new, the adding the flag, this flag to the URL will give you that beautiful um, UI here. So now press E, click on the door, and you've got the script here. So um, the script here is um, text based. So whatever you put in there, uh, when you press enter, whatever it's there's no indent, there's no indentation. Sorry. Um, so what I'm what I usually do is I just use um replet, um replet or replet.it. Um, sorry for my pronunciation. And I just code my um I just type my code here and then copy and paste it in there. So to start with, we know that um a um, crypto work cell is made of parcels, and then ah oh, come on. It's made of parcels, and then within the parcel, you've got a figure. Within the, the 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 parcel again, sorry, within the parcel again, you've got a player, and um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, and then within that that figure, you've got the the, the script, you've got the text. If it says sign, for example, URL, the scripting. You've got the scale, you've got the, the rotation, you've got the position, all of those. Um, and for the player, you've got the name, damn it, sorry. Um, you've got the wallet, since we are using Ethereum, uh, and you've got all of, all of another bunch of variables. Um, but here we're going to focus on features and um, rotation. So let's go, let's delete all that. So we're going to start with typing feature because um, this code is going to be associated with the door. And so because it's associated with the door, by saying feature, we directly talk about the door. So when you're saying feature in this case, it's going to be straight up the door. So a door's got when you click on it, it's got an event. So we're gonna put feature on click. Once you click on it, it's got an event. So you can type event, but in this case, I'm gonna call it B. That event is gonna return. It's gonna um, return an object, but on the event, I'm gonna decide to let the variable closed equal to Feature again. Dot uh, rotation. Dot y equal equal. So what this means is we're gonna we're gonna um, we are going to set a variable called closed, which has the position or the rotation of the door when it is closed. So pretty much what it is is if I click press E and then click on the door, I have here the position x and then here the position y here rotation x, here rotation y. So the door is currently closed, so this is the rotation y when the door is closed. Later we're going to change it, so for example if I increase um, the rotation it goes that way, if I decrease it it goes this way. So right now I'll keep it closed, it's 157, um, this is rounded, so there we go, 157. And then we go, let's just print on the, in the log what we're having here. So let's say, um, is it closed? Then if it is, we're going to open the door, so opening. And if it's n not closed, then we're closing the door. Um, yep, that's perfect, plus um, door. So what this does is it shows in the log um, whether it's closing or opening and then the door. We'll, 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 we'll 
I'll just copy and paste this. So copy, paste. There you go. And then what you need to do is you need to refresh the page. I'm just gonna refresh it by um, making sure I've got the UI. There you go. Sweet. So now what you do is you press F12 to get the developer console. Make sure you go in um, console. There we go. And then you press on the door. Sweet. So you've got opening door here. Nothing is happening because we haven't told the door to open yet. But at least we know that the script is working so far. Cool. So let's close this. Um, let's go back to Replit. Cool. So now we know this is going on. So what we do is we ask the door. So now we ask the script if um, v, um, sorry is closed equal to video dot rotation dot y. So we asked is is the current rotation of the door equal to the variable closed brackets and then so if it is closed then we want to open it so in this case we have to say figure dot rotation rotation dot y is equals to so now we're going to tell um, what y rotation should take so let's say we want to open the door this way then let's go with that perfect so it's zero so we're just gonna set it to zero but obviously this is not opening the door right so we want to make sure the door kind of moves toward the wall so what we'll do is we'll manually try to get the position so why is not the solution yep so that looks more like it all right so let's get um, this point of view Cool, so let's go down. Yep, that looks a bit better. And then Z to what here? Yeah, that looks good. Cool. So it's minus 2.5 and minus 0.5. So we'll go feature dot, pos ah, dot position dot x equal minus 0.5 and Let's copy that feature dot c is equal to minus 2.5. Cool. So now we've told how the door should look like if we open it. Um, let's bring it back to where it was just before. So um, let's see here and then this one back to here um, yeah that looks like oh no this point is not correct um, so that wasn't it position we'll move x z so this is a bit too far there we go perfect cool sweet so there we go so that's what the door is going to look like when we open it if I go else so now we're telling the door that it is already open and we want to make sure what is going on here there we go and we want to tell it to um, to close so rotation is going to be close and um, y is going to be equal to close because um, we want to close it and now the new position is going to be what we just got so x is going to be minus 0 0.75 minus 0 0.75 and minus 3 for z minus 3 is there anything else? 0 0.75 and oh, 0 0.75 never changes and any, all the rotations are the same cool, cool, everything should be all good let's cross fingers so copy, paste nice and then let's um, refresh this 
right, what is the result? So logically speaking, um, I'm going to open the console just to see what's going on. Perfect. Um, the console is really helpful because if you make a mistake, it's going to show up there. Cool. So let's press. Awesome. So the door is open. Nice. And then closing it. Quite. That's cool. So now we see that one of our position is wrong. Um, but the message closing the door is right. So what happened here? So if I press E and go on it, it tells me that the rotation has not changed and that um, wait, I think that's all. No, the position is wrong as well. No, the position is alright. Cool, perfect. Um, so all I need to correct is making sure the the um, rotation one is not has not changed. I may as well just put it manually at this point. It's not that big of a change anyway. Sweet. Um, so yeah, you can just copy and paste that. Yep. Oh, come on. Perfect. There we go. And refresh. Sweet. So there's no problem in the console. I'm here and now I press so the door opens the door closed there we go that's beautiful and spamming it doesn't ruin it cool obviously you can still walk through it because um, it's an early version of the game but we know in the future it's going to be really useful and uh, really cool so there you go Hope you liked it and um, tell me if you enjoyed it. Thank you.